All eyes were on Zach Mettenberger Saturday afternoon as the highly heralded sophomore got his first taste of the Tiger spotlight, and he didn't disappoint. Mettenberger had five completions on eight attempts, but even his incompletions were impressive, like this nearly perfect back-footed 50-yard toss that only a great defensive play prevented from being a spectacular completion. And while Mettenberger is still banned from talking to the media, his fellow Tigers had rave reviews. Zach got a great arm, you know. I think they showed that also. And I think he got to uh, understand the playbook a little bit more. And, you know, he'll get more reps with, you know, with the twos and ones. And I think he'll be a great quarterback one day. He has really come to bear. And, and really, you know, you know, Lee and Jefferson have experience on him. But uh, he's really come in and competed and throws the ball well. Just stay calm and, you know, play your game. You know, play like you've been playing throughout the whole spring. And uh, I think he definitely did a great job in his spring game. Jefferson, meanwhile, is the incumbent, and he showed flashes of his Cotton Bowl brilliance, but also showed some of the maddening inconsistency that has plagued his career. Still, it was a solid finish to a solid spring for the LSU signal caller. I thought Jordan was good. You know, I thought he made some nice throws. He moved around in the pocket and bought himself some time. I thought the first drive was excellent. He hits two big passes on the first drive, and you know, then unfortunately he has to sit down for a while and got a little cold before he came back out. But you know, I thought overall he played well. I think it was a, a great spring game. You know, we uh, took some shots down the field, connected on some, didn't connect on some, but you know, we uh, look at the film, correct all of that, and uh, we're just going to keep, keep it moving. Whoever's under center in 2011, they've got quite the security blanket behind them. As evidenced in Saturday's spring game, the LSU rush attack is deep. And despite the departure of Stephen Ridley, maybe better than ever. If we can keep ourselves in down and distance situations where you know, we can open up the play sheet and, and either run the ball or throw the ball, you want to keep yourself out of the third and really long down and distance situations. And you know, for the most part, we did that a, a good job of that today. And I thought all three running backs played well. You know, they did a good job and they carried the ball behind their pads. While Alfred Blue and Jakari Gore had productive days, Spencer Ware was the leader of the rushing pack, going for 96 yards and bookending the scoring with two touchdowns likely cementing himself as the main man in the Tiger backfield. This is our game for the spring. This is against our, our defense. The players that's going to be playing in the fall time, you have to show what you can do right here before we get to that fall. And I think we did a tremendous, tremendous job today. And like I said, I got to give it up to my offensive line. I think Spencer had a very good spring and, uh, and certainly a, a very representative spring game. You know, the, he's, he's still very much improving, but, you know, he's a real competitive guy and, and just enjoys, uh, enjoys playing. I mean, he's going to now go and swing bats for baseball, you know, see if he can see if they can win a championship as well. So where goes from hitting holes to hitting fastballs? As for his Tiger teammates, their focus turns to the season opener against Oregon where there will be no ducking the high expectations for LSU and their offensive playmakers. In Baton Rouge, Paul Boron for CST Tonight.